Alright. Alright, so we're back on the basement job. Or right, well, this is a big job. We'll just call it the big job. So Zach has been really kicking some butt here. Uh, he's got the water lines. Yeah, they're stubbed. They're all stubbed out, but they ran how they need to be for now. Um, we got the uh, GFCI in for the bathroom. Bathroom's framed out. We got this bedroom. It is framed out for the most part. Electrical's done other than the lights. Got the door on and then through here this bedroom's done other than the lights well we got to insulate everything yet but we ran out of tyvek so we got to pick up some tyvek still have a little wall here we got to build got the wall ran down through here and we're actually stopping right here we're putting a door in right here to go back to there but it's turning out really really good our pile of two by fours that are all pretty much too short to do anything with because this ceiling is a uh, height is off to use a regular two by four or a stud you gotta get 10 footers and cut it but so the plan today <clears throat> is this area here as you can tell, there's an outlet up high. We're going to have a big screen TV here and couches through here. So we're going to have a couch right here and then we're going to build a platform right here so the other couch is up. We're doing kind of a home theater setup right here. So let's, uh, let's get this, uh, some of this stuff moved and get our measurements and our layout and we'll get this built. Right there, but it's gonna come to here. 
she don't want to sit that way anyway. So it's in, we still need to su uh, support it down here. But one key thing to remember is anytime you're putting wood directly on concrete, you need to make sure you use treated. So we used, we'll put, we'll put treated boards down. These are two by six um, and it's just under six, six because uh, we did that for scrap purposes. We were able to cut two six footers out um, of one board instead of only getting one per cut. So we had to have a big scrap piece. Um, so now we're going to put plates in, uh, which Zach is bringing over. We will anchor these to the floor and then we'll put, because uh, we don't have any four by fours with us, but we're going to put two by fours in and that right on the money. this will help secure this end i think it's a little bit overbuilt doing this yeah, but a little overkill but whatever but yeah whatever it, 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 it won't fall apart yep we'll be able to sleep at night so all right well let's get this done all right so we got it anchored down in this corner she is not going nowhere Yes, this one is a little bigger than 16 on center, but we're using three-quarter plywood. You ain't gonna bow that right there. It's still within two foot on center, so. All right, well, now it's time for sheeting it. All right, so we made a little mistake here. Whoops! That may just cost us an hour round trip because I don't know if that other piece is long enough. Oh, we can still do it. But we, <laughs> we, measured, we measured what our uh, trusses are, not our overall. We didn't accommodate for the two end caps. So that's a big whoopsie on our part. We're but, good. Oh, well, we got the other piece over there. We'll just have to... Cut it and Magic make it all work. Clearly wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I really strongly believe that Zach's starting to lose his mind when it comes out to read tape measures. I might have to send him back to kindergarten and learn how to read one. Yeah, I didn't read it upside down this time, and I don't know if I can pass kindergarten anymore. <laughs> that is true. I don't know if I can pass it either. Or at least not first grade. I got a daughter who's in first grade, and holy cow, some of the math questions she's getting, like, wow. Yeah, like Darn one, near trigonometry. <laughs> so, whatever happened to three plus three? Yeah, yeah. First grade should be three plus three, but it's uh, three times three minus divided this. That. <laughs> but all right, well, let's try to cut this twice and uh, see if it works. Should have been measured twice, cut once. Yeah, it should have been measured twice, cut yeah. once. But well, well, we'll we'll cut once, measure twice, and hopefully not have to go back to Lancaster cut to get some more stuff. <laughs> all right.
All right, so we got the platform built and it's all nice and solid. Don't wanna go nowhere. Not too bad. So now we're going to finish. We've got to put a door in here for the bathroom and a door in here for to access the HVAC. So let's uh let's get on that. for the day and I know there should be a bottom plate but it's not structural it's just a whole trim. I mean we'd run full pieces of tar side and you wouldn't even need it. Right. Jack the door all up, Mike. 
careful. Right, so that one's in. So you don't drop this one and break that it again? That one's in. Yeah, don't drop it and break that one again. Oh, come on. That one's a little short, buddy. Well, I, I was using our straps. That one's a little short, buddy. In there all oh, that one screw yep. all right well we got that one in yeah, that one in and those two in looks so much better and we can uh, attach stuff to it so this is another room we got to finish we are basically just putting tongue and groove and car siding on the walls and trimming it out and putting floor in here this is going to be a game room we are going to have we're taking a garage door out and putting dual French doors with kind of a, a Pinterest thing on the front uh, of you, how they want it done. So we, we'll show you that later. But me and Zach were actually out here doing the math because he is going to put on all the can lights tomorrow. So we were doing the math for the wattage and the how many per square foot. So... Uh, we are going to be putting 20 can lights in, which is, yeah, 20 can lights in this is a 754 square foot room. It's 26 by 29 roughly. So that's what we were doing here at the end of the day because Zach is going to be waiting on some materials tomorrow. Um, because I, the closest place I can get materials is about 45 minutes from here. So I have to go up that way anyways tomorrow, so I'll pick up the materials and bring it back towards the end of the day. Plus, uh, my dump trailer's on a job. And, and I gotta go up there, fix a blown tire. Um, and uh, while I'm up there, I'm gonna stop at my dad's house, uh, machine a vowel down. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be a wrap for today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.